Hi everyone, an untraditional video for me today, but I'm pretty excited and I want to show you my new Rolex Submariner. Before we do that though, I just wanted to tell you why I'd selected this particular Submariner. So this is actually going to be the reference 124060. It's the 2020 Rolex Submariner, it just came out. I actually went with the non-date Submariner. That's because this is how they were originally and Rolex introduced the date down the line which is something that I just didn't think I wanted to pay the extra money for. So this one actually replaces the previous model that went out in 2020 and my one came in in 2020. You see looking at the picture on the left it's very very similar um, to the picture on the right but I feel like the one on the left which is the 2020 one I'm going to review today has you know a slightly more rounded look and I think it just looks a little bit more polished and I just really love it. Uh, you can see they've done this by increasing the bracelet size, decreasing the lug size, which is giving it a really nice rounded effect. That's the key subtle difference I think in this watch and the reason that I really like it. You know, behind the scenes it's got a new 3230 caliber which actually gives you 70 hours of power reserve versus 48 in the outgoing 2020 model. Um, and you know it, it gives you that plus minus two seconds accuracy per day so pretty similar watches overall but I just feel like the 2020 takes it just a little bit further all right so we have a beautiful Rolex bag you can see it's nice and green so we've got the little logo here as well really nice we're gonna open it up and inside we have a box the sleeve that looks pretty indescript. You can see it's the Oyster M. Open it up. You can see the nice Rolex box. Lift the lid off. Very nice. And inside, you see the beautiful green box. So this little bit of plastic here as well. Nice. And open it up. There we go. So we can see we have the tags, etc. And there it is, the beautiful Rolex Submariner. Inside the back, this is kind of a new design for this watch. We have the serial number, etc. I'm going to show you half of the serial number so you can get kind of get a grip. It has a nice leather sleeve that it comes in and this is your five year international warranty. You can see the date that it was purchased here. Pretty cool. But that's not what you want to see. Let's put that away. Instruction manual. Let's take a look. So this particular Rolex is the reference 124060 which is the Submariner steel, black on black, non-date. So you can see it does not have the date. I'm actually going to open it up now. You see we've still got the tags on here. I can take those off. I'm not going to need those anymore. I really wanted the, sub, this is the Rolex Submariner instead of my handy Apple Watch here. Let's take this off. Is you know It has this really nice bezel, which I think is really slick. It's um, really nice and as you turn it, it sounds pretty sweet, etc. Now, on the wrist, it feels extremely comfortable because of the bracelet mechanism. I'm going to try it on real quick. I'm actually a righty when I wear a watch. Fits really nice and easily. So this is the 41 millimeter as opposed to the 40 outgoing. But actually, technically, it's only about point three of a millimeter bigger than the old one. But uh, I think it makes quite a bit of difference. Feels nice on the wrist. The thing that I really like about this particular reference is the fact that the lugs are not as, don't feel quite as um, squarish. So when you look at the face of the watch, it looks very round. That's because Rolex increased the bracelet by a couple of millimeters here and then decrease the lug size by a couple of millimeters so a couple very very slight slight adjustments it makes all the difference love it all right so 
cool feature about this, this isn't anything new, but the thing I really love about the Submariner, when you take it off, you can actually adjust it on the fly. So if you see inside here, we have what's called a quick release. Well, I don't know what it's called, but <laughs> it's a cool little feature in here. But what we can do is pop it up, slide it back and forth. And you see I have like six or seven different little ratchets there. I can just slide it up. Boom. And now I've just made it tighter. So if you go out for a big steak dinner, as I generally do, you can whoosh, pull it all the way out. And you've got a nice loose fitting watch. But I think the idea behind this in you know, the original intention was if you're going to wear a wetsuit, you can actually maybe wear it this thickness day to day when you want to put your wetsuit on and clip all the way out, put it on and then you've got a very loosely fitting watch. You can see I've got enough room under my wrist that would probably fit a slim wetsuit in there. You actually have this quick release mechanism where you have one clip there and then it's actually got a hinge here. If you see it's an actual movement, boom. So that it's doubly secure on your wrist. One, two, really like that. The other thing about, I love about this watch is the lovely blue glow that you get. And because it's the Submariner non-date, it's kind of universal all the way around. You don't have that Cyclops lens to allow for the date window in there. You've got just pure glow in the dark. And I've actually got the lights on in my house, but as you can see, it's still pretty glowy. Let's turn the lights out and see how it looks and see if it's even nicer. As you can see, even nicer with most of the lights out. Really, really nice glow. I just held it under a light for a couple seconds or so, but you can imagine Take it out in the daytime, comes to night time, boom, beautiful. Especially if you're diving, you're going to be able to take this from the, from the deck of your ship, dive underwater. As you get darker and darker underwater, it's going to glow beautifully for you.